All right, so I tried to film this when I was driving, but thankfully I was more focused on driving, so I didn't get the footage captured, unfortunately. So I have just uh, parked my car at the post office. Um, for those of you that don't know, the post office is located on 3rd Street Southeast and Cleveland Avenue. Now, the main throughway, there's, oh, I'm sorry, fourth, there's third, my bad. And the main throughway here is a street called Tusk. And for those of you that don't know, it's West Tusk Auraris, if you want to look it up. Canton doesn't have a first street. What Canton does have is a Tusk. And then if you can think of a plus sign, there is Northeast, Southeast, Southwest, North, no, yeah. Southeast, southwest, northwest, and northeast, depending on how the plus sign goes. And if you divide that up evenly, then when you're going uh, towards that way, uh, yeah, this way, to my left, that's where the hospital is. Now, what these protesters have done here as I'm about to film, is they have shut down the primary road that ambulance would be taking to go to one of the two major hospitals here in the, as you can see, football city, Hall of Fame city. The hospital I'm referring to is called Altman, and anybody with a map quest can check everything I'm saying if you're not from the area. This just created a six or seven minute detour for me to drop off the food that I was doing for a delivery service. So what you've got here, in essence, is a bunch of idiots in the middle of the street. So in the event that an ambulance needs to get through here, you have a rather substantial problem. You know what's going to be heard? What's going to be heard is somebody that needs to go to the hospital and maybe is impeded because there's cops down there are hard to get through because of this. Now, as you can see, this whole area over there if it was there, it wouldn't necessarily impede hospital traffic. My major concern with this is that if an ambulance needs to get to Altman, they're going to be in a substantial amount of trouble because in order for me to get to that end of town, it took me like an extra six or seven minutes to drop off. So that's my major concern with this is that if it was moved there, sorry, if it was moved over there, you there's plenty of room here, but you wouldn't have the risk to the hospitals. And that's my concern, because we have people out here saying that black lives matter. Well, there are an awful lot, well, let me film this. There are an awful lot of black people who live on the northeast end of town. So they see this being dispersed, which is not a bad idea considering that what you're dealing with here is a need for people to get from one side to the other. So who is going to have justice for the people who had to call an ambulance and are maybe tied up? Because downtown Canton is completely unnavigable. You, you can't navigate it at this point. Are, is there going to be anybody to help the people that could be in that situation? And that's what I'm saying. You won't find anybody more libertarian than me in many, many aspects. And 
I, I stuck up for the protesters when they were having things shot at them just for yelling, flashbangs, and I don't have a problem with that. But what I do have a rather substantial problem with is when you impede the rights of other people, such as myself, to make a living delivering, luckily my, my block is over, but just the same, delivering, because you can't get from one end of town to the other. That's a mild inconvenience. But what I have an even bigger problem with is the fact that people who may need to get from one end of town to the other for emergencies cannot do so. And what if it's, what if it's something that maybe wouldn't have been an emergency? Riddle me this. It certainly is possible that somebody would have something wrong with them that they don't necessarily need an ambulance for. So they don't call an ambulance. However, maybe, you know, it's a bleeding issue or something. And they can get there fine. And it happened to me when I cut the tip of my finger off once. I drove myself to the hospital. And might I add, played a show that night at Buzzbin with my fingers stitched back on. The meat under my middle finger, for those wondering, on the left hand. So... What happens to people like that? How many nerve endings could have died? You know, tip of my finger. How bad could I have bled if I, you know, was tied up for a long time? These are the kinds of questions that need to be asked. And I don't think that they are. 